commit thy way unto the law commit commit commitment is my decision to act my single decision to act hallelujah <coughs> in other words i have taken his word and based on his word i made a single decision to act and now i have taken off my hand of it he asked me to do it i did it and now i am not worried anymore hallelujah let me let me ask you a question has anybody ever taken cash euros big amount of cash euros and deposited that money in the bank hello yes and then when you deposited the person over there put a stamp on a receipt and put a small signature and many a times he doesn't even sign he just does like this and you took that receipt and you walked out of the bank you have acted on depositing it now how many times do you keep wondering is my money going to be safe in the bank <laughs> what did she say <sighs> you shall have whatever you say No, no, no! Listen, listen, listen! Please, please, please! We want to study about the word commitment. Okay. When you deposited the money and you got a receipt, do you see in that small paper any euros? No. Was the money in your hand? Yes. Has it gone out of your hand? Yes. Has it gone into the bank? Yes. Are you worried whether your money is safe? No. no. Why not? Because you trust the bank. And you trust the bank that when I need my money and I go to that bank, I can get the money back along with interest. How does it look for a person who deposited 5000 euros in the bank and throughout the day is wondering and calling the manager again and again hey is my money there in your bank do we do that no hello i'm asking do we do that no. why don't we do that because we are sure we are assured we are confident that money is safe in the bank hallelujah hallelujah are we wondering what if the bank puts that money in gambling but the bank doesn't do that they use the money for gambling over here stock exchange let's say stock exchange the bank lost the money but still do you get the money yes so you know the bank lost the money and going to the stock exchange but whatever they owe you they will give back to you unless the bank became bankrupt yes. hello and we don't find banks becoming bankrupt every day hallelujah now here he is saying you are trusting not the bank but the lord so when you gave 
you a receipt and you acted on that word have you got now the receipt of heaven so are you now worried about what you did is it safe is it going to work is it not going to work or are you confident and trusting god that lord i also deposited my faith my trust in you i am united with you hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus thank you jesus so the first thing is that i deposited the money i got the receipt and i'm happy the second one is i am no longer worried what the bank is going to do with that money but i'm so sure that in time of need i will not only get the money i will get interest on that money now my question to you is i come from india and i tell you i can double up your money in 6 months in how many months 6 months how many of you would like to deposit the money with me <laughs> double up <laughs> the bank is giving you just 6% i am giving you 100% in 6 months would you like to put the money with me then you all are the biggest foolish people <laughs> because i will never be able to repay you double up in 6 months i am giving you false promises but the money will not be repaid what has been promised and therefore i know it won't work <coughs> Now my question to you is when God has given us his promises do we believe he has the capacity and the ability to keep his promise So now you got the receipt and you know he is the creator and he has the ability am i going to go on worrying or am i going to be trusting in god come on and when a person is trusting in god and there is no worry that's when the lord will take the third step of doing what he has promised you that he would do it again again the three steps first step is like i go to the bank and i deposit the money and all that i get is a receipt in return and i know that i have deposited the money second step because i trust the bank i am not worried i know the money is there and the bank is making profit on that money and when in due season when i need the money the bank will share a part of that profit with me in a form of interest and because i am not worried now the lord says he will do it what he promised he would do it so whatever problem i am going through in my life whatever is my need whatever is my situation whatever is my decision i am committed to the lord i am committed to his his word so it's not only speaking there is action
and because there is action and you go on and on and on with this kind of an attitude that God you are able to keep your promise so when that happens what happens to the person the person has peaceful assurance and what is that assurance the lord who promised me will surely do it hallelujah. hallelujah now you know that you are saying because i deposited the money in the bank i don't control the money which has been deposited the bank takes over that money and makes an investment in different places is it right or does the bank consult you hey you have put 500 euros we have planned to do this and this and this what do you say does the bank ask you no the bank takes the decision praise the lord in the same way lord i have made my deposit in you by putting what you said in action and i'm not going to worry about how and when and what and where you are going to do it i'm sure one thing if you promised me you will surely do it you have control so my question to you is if we can trust the bank with money can we trust the lord with the problem or are we all the time worried with our problem when we are worried with our problem we said to god i don't trust you and the reason i don't trust you is because my problem is too big for you i'm worried because i don't think so you have the capacity or the ability to solve my problem because god you can tell yourself you are a big god but when i look at my problem my problem is bigger than you are hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so what is the lord saying to us take our situations to him commit ourselves to him and continue trusting in him praise god so let us study in jeremiah 17 verse 7 so what are the three things that we learned from the bank first i deposited the money in the bank two i stopped worrying about my money that i deposited in the bank three i am so sure the bank is going to give me back my money but not the same but with interest so now how do i trust in the lord i take his word and i act on his word two i stop worrying about my problem because i know the dep- <coughs> <coughs> the deposit that i made in trusting him he is able to work in favor not against and three i am sure that is going to give me back with great reward so are we committed to god is our decision to act on his word which one are, do you think are we stronger in praying or commitment now did i say those who pray he will bring it to pass what did he say 
commit yourself please read that first is what commit yourself what have you put brother have you put the same thing commit your way also unto the lord to trust also in him so when you are trusting are you worried and three what is he saying he will bring it to pass so first step is my turn what is that commit myself with action so are we champions in action or are we champions in praying jesus i love you jesus i thank you jesus i praise you and the next door neighbor comes and attacks you now the question is am i willing to forgive him now let's take for example had god given joseph a desire yes had he given him a dream yes had he promised him in that dream that he's going to make him a strong man yes now when joseph was ill treated by his brothers was he still co- <coughs> committed <coughs> to the lord or was he committed to his emotions please talk to me lord now was he worried about his situation when they sold him as a slave no because when he was committed to the lord to carry out his instruction he was not worried god how are you going to get that desire get that dream to manifestation because that's not my work my work is to trust you just the way i trust the bank to work out in such a way that they will give me back the money with interest so when the brother sold him as a slave <coughs> he was not worried he still committed to do what god had called him to do now who's who's responsibility to bring that dream to pass god's joseph and what was joseph's responsibility to act on the instruction with commitment and at the same time not to get worried on what he had carried out the instruction now what will be the outcome god said he will bring it to pass so in joseph's life when he was trusting in god committed to god even though he started with a sleep <coughs> did it end up as a slave or did he become a manager at home do you find joseph grumbling and crying and depressed because his situation was bad now how many people do we find when their situation is bad that they are committed to god they are committed to worrying they are committed to act on bitterness to act on unforgiveness to act on offense to act on revenge so did they commit themselves to god or did they commit themselves to the devil and when you commit yourself to the devil the result is you are not at rest now you are at unrest 
you are worried and worried and worried. Now will God's desire, God given desire come to pass or the devil's plan and purpose come to pass? So is God giving us a fantastic formula? When you look at Joseph, every time something good happened, the very next moment, something worse than before happened. He just became a manager and is happy, praise God. I'm a manager in my house, in the Egyptian master's house. Everything is under my control. And the Egyptian master's wife tries his best to have a physical relationship with him. He's young, he's handsome, full of vigor, full of strength. Can he also have a desire of sexual desires? Yes. But is he committed to that act or is he committed to God's act? Because he got committed to God's act and the wife falsely accused him and put him in the prison, was Joseph worried? He said, Lord, as for me, I have made my deposit and I got a receipt. I do not understand how you are going to work out this situation. But I do understand like a bank who will make an investment and multiply and make my money grow in the same way, Lord, I know that you are going to make this desire or this dream to come to pass. So I refuse to worry. Yeah, just no matter what happens, be committed. I'm very stubborn. I'm an extremely stubborn person. And in my past life, because of the stubbornness, if I decided I want to finish this, I will go and do it. So that was a gift from God. But that stubbornness was abused by the devil. He used that stubbornness to do bad things. Today also I am stubborn. And what is my stubbornness? God, I am committed to you. No matter what happens, I will be still committed to you. I am stubborn. I, when a person is stubborn, he has got power over his emotions. Because he wants to say, no matter what happens, I refuse to change. So now the stubbornness has changed to stubbornness in the word of God. Yeah. Commitment. Every day is a challenge. Am I committed to God? Praise God. Praise God. Is the Lord talking to us? So are we committed to God or committed to say the prayers? Hmm? Yeah, take the mic and say please. Morning, his temperature was 39.3. And I said we will cut down certain appointments we have. He said, no way. Whatever is committed is committed. We are going ahead. Commitment. Now, if somebody had to see me in the morning, my condition, and right now what I am, there's such a big difference. That commitment to the Lord has brought healing to my soul, healing to my body. I've seen again and again and again when the devil comes to attack. I'm not focused on the attack. I'm focused on my commitment. There are many people who go through attack and they are focused on the attack. They keep telling everybody, 
the devil is attacking me the devil is doing this the devil is doing that and their focus is on what the devil is doing i am under attack but a person who is committed is saying i don't care devil you can go and do what you want but you can't stop me being committed to my god 